LG's V series phones got popular for a couple of standout features. One in particular was the auxiliary display panel. The secondary display panel was included at the top of the phone and it included a number of shortcuts for you to access instead of having to go through and dig into the application drawer or the home screen or anything like that. With the LG V30 though, they have re LG has removed that secondary screen and has included it as a software feature called the floating bar. This is actually a pretty simple software tweak and a third party developer has released an application in the Play Store simply called the Floating Bar LG V30 that you can use to add the floating bar to any compatible device. You can see right here I have this Floating Bar LG V30 application installed on the OnePlus 5. Once it's downloaded and installed you just need to launch it. And then you're going to see this toggle up here at the top. So we just enable that. And as soon as you enable it, you're going to see that little icon pop out from the edge of the screen. You can drag this around. So if you want it lower, that's, that makes it easier to access while you're holding it with one hand. Or if you want to move it to the top so it's out of the way of, say, your keyboard. You can do that. And right here you can add as many applications as you want in the floating bar. So by default we have Gmail and YouTube. But we can add in a number of applications here. And they're going to instantly show up in that floating bar. Now you get this feature for free, so you can have quick access to those particular applications all the time. We also have a tools floating bar, but that will cost an extra 99 cents. This is a free application by default, but if you want, you can get that feature for 99 cents as an in-app purchase. You can add contacts here. Or you can add in websites. So by default for free you can add application shortcuts but again you can add tools, you can add some contacts, or you can add websites if you choose to pay that 99 cents. Here we have the settings for this. The application needs permit th this permission. So if you have not enabled it or have gone through and disabled it, then you'll see that information here. And then if you want to prevent the application from being killed in the background, then you'll have to go through and enable those settings. There's also a couple options here where you can enable or disable the ability to show that floating bar on the lock screen. And if you want to let it collapse whenever you touch outside. And lastly, you can adjust the opacity. right from there. So that is the floating bar LG V30 application to enable you to get one of the standout features of the LG V30 on any compatible device.